Let's cut all the cutesy YouTube intro, grab your attention type stuff, and uh, let's get right to the music, huh? Roll that funky bass line. Do it. Come on. This week's plug-in of the week, Rabbit Tape by Safari Pedals. Let's dive in. Let's hear it. Pow, pow, pow. Are you crazy? Do you guys like the name Radiant Pow, by the way? Smile. No. Like the plug-in of the week, is that... Is that fun? I never thought about it. I just kind of called it that and then I left it that way for years now. Uh, but let's get into this plugin. We got rabbit tape here, Safari pedals. This is a really simple plugin to use, which I love, especially when it sounds good. You guys know that. Every time I'm on this channel, I talk about plugins that I like that just sound good, right? People do pay me to do reviews on plugins. And I want you guys to know that I don't do any reviews unless I really like their stuff. So first thing I have them do is send me that shit. <laughs> I'll let you know, right? He is lying. But this one is just really dope. And these guys are dope. I love Safari pedals. They have a lot of cool stuff. I'm gonna show you a little chain I made with this guitar tone. Let's just listen. Gotta use your ears. I think it sounds really, really cool. Really retro and funky, Motown-y. That's what I'm going for and I wanna show you how I got there. On the guitar, because that's what I'm focusing on right now, I have the Rabbit Tape, and then I have the Yak Delay, same company, Safari, and these are just pedals. I'm just like popping them in and I'm turning a couple knobs and it sounds great. And then I got the Flamingo Verb. All right, I won't break this down too much, but I'm gonna bypass these two and just focus on the Rabbit Tape. And I want you to hear it just bypassed. Like here's the DI'd signal of my Telecaster going directly into the UAD Apollo. That's all it is. <laughs> That just has a really cool tone to me. Now the guitar is DI'd into the Apollo and it's going through the Neve 88 RS plugin and a little bit of compression on that plugin. So that's all we're hearing. When I bypass this out, it feels like the tone dies. Where'd the guitar go, right? And then when I turn it on, you're like instant vibe, instant tone. And that's what this plugin does, which is really cool because they're kind of a pedal company, if you will, because they're pedal plugins and they obviously work amazing on guitars right out of the box. So what I'm doing here, just so we can kind of break down rabbit tape, because it's it's really fun. I think it's like very easy to use and it sounds good and that's all I need in plugins. I don't need overcomplicated stuff. I don't need to have to read a manual to get a good tone out of it. I just wanna turn a few knobs and then be like, that sounds sick as hell. That's what this plugin is to me. And there's two different types here. There's reel to reel and there's cassette. Now, obviously these guys are actually using reel to reel and cassette to make these tones happen. They're modeling those tones from those pieces of hardware. And that's how you're getting that grit. That's how you're getting that really, that tonality of tape. Now, here's what we got. We got wow, we got grit. We got flutter, we got reel to reel or cassette, we got input, output, and then there's oversampling as well, which is amazing. You're going to get a much better tone out of this and a more precise tone out of it. Okay, you could turn that on or off. And you also have auto gain. So if you push into it, then it'll auto gain the output, right? And the, everything else. If it's adding gain with the grit, it's gonna auto gain for you. A lot of people like auto gain. And then you have a bypass here, in and out, and then you have a blend knob. Now, one recommendation is don't turn on the wow and then try to blend it because you'll get kind of like this really phasey thing, unless you do want that. I feel like the grit is where I like to start with this. So I'll just turn these down and let's listen to this actual tonality of the grit. <laughs> It's really dope. To me, I can hear it adding the harmonics and just starting to clip out the tape. I love that. It sounds really, really dope. Tape compression and tape distortion is a really interesting thing. If you don't know much about it, it's an immediate compression. There's no like attack and release time on a tape machine or this kind of distortion or compression that happens with a tape machine. It's just like an immediate happening of tone and harmonics and saturation. And this is really modeling that idea very, very well. Let's switch to the cassette and start to blend this because this is a whole new vibe like this will give you all sorts of different waves if you want to open up like a synth plugin and throw this cassette on it you got instant lo-fi just feels really good check it out
So the reel to reel feels like reel to reel tape, magnetic tape, and you know, the thicker kind of tape. The cassette feels like a really tight, small, you know, ugh, it's all lo fi out. It's really, really tight compression, distortion, kind of that really, really tight sound, which is gonna be really cool on drums. It's gonna be really fun on bass guitars, all sorts of stuff that you wanna filter out and have that cassette sound on. All right, so now let's start to pop in some wow, because this wow is really, really fun. And the flutter, I find this flutter on this pedal is the most realistic to like tape dropouts that I've ever heard. Hands down. Just listen to it as I turn up the wow and then I'm going to mess with the flutter so you can really hear this because it sounds like how tape starts to crumble on sounds. You'll hear it. Check it out. be really careful with wow because things can start to sound out of tune right so you can go pretty far with this and if you make everything out of tune then everything's in tune right so i like it right around 20 percent or so i think is really good now let's start to mess with this flutter and this is where you get this real tape machine sound <laughs> So that's kind of like the vibe I like of this. Let's switch to cassette real quick. You're gonna hear that tightness again. The reel to reel has a lot more thickness in it, a lot more guts in the low mids, in the low end, uh, just like real tape, right? Cassette is going to start to filter that low end quite a bit. And they did a great job modeling that. Now let's kind of uh, turn on this chain here and I'll tell you kind of what I'm doing here with the yak delay. This thing is dope because it just has this tone to it, like a really throaty sound. So I have this on just kind of a slap, which is at 30 seconds. If you hit this sync, I got a 30 seconds here. And then I'm just doing a little high pass, low pass. So it's just focusing on the mids. And then I have the repeats at 5%. So it's kind of a slap delay kind of thing. And then you could turn the drive up if you want to on this, get even more tone out of it. But I'm just blending it at 27%. So check out what this does. It gives it like this throaty sound. <laughs> puts a nice space around it, which I really love. It gives me some dimension to my guitar and what I'm doing. And then the flamingo ver verb is just like perfect. I, I don't even want to touch this most of the time. I just turn the blend down. All right. So this is at 36%. Just starts to feel like that classic like thickness and that Motown, that that Detroit sound, a little bit of like uh the southern, southern rock kind of vibe. Like it just gets kind of dirty and heavy and muddy and just feels good, right? And that's just three plugins. Rabbit tape alone just does a lot. And if you guys are enjoying the content, please share the content. I do this, pull it out of my pocket to make these videos. I shoot them, I get editors, I pay them, you know. So all your job is to, you know, take the game, enjoy the show, and share it if you dig it. All right, that's all I ask for. You you want, you you could do so, you, you do. If you want to drop some love, comments, likes, subscribe to the channel. You can do all that stuff. It's up to you. Let's turn it on this Juno. I had this really kind of idea about like doing like these prints kind of stabs on this Juno and I thought they were really fun, but let's mess with them a little bit with this rabbit tape and just kind of drive them and give them some wow and flutter and make them feel more like it's running through a tape machine. That just adds such nice depth and like vibe to what already is a great synth, right? But this pedal also has this really cool feature with width where you can 
take that and kind of exaggerate it in the Juno. So that's really, really fun to do. I like the cassette sound on this. It definitely sounds like, you know, 90s cassette tape, 80s, 90s kind of vibes. Let me just play this in the mix and we'll turn it up and just kind of blend it in and out. So sick. I want to put this on everything. I'm going to put it on the drums, going to put it on the bass, you know, especially on the bass. Let's check it out on bass, actually. I, I didn't even think about that like an idiot. Of course, you're going to use a tape machine on a bass. <laughs> you feel me? So I actually, a lot of times, write my bass parts with MIDI, you know, but this time I actually plugged in a bass and I was like, all right, I'll do the extra work. I'll plug in the Fender P bass and get to work on it, right? But let's just throw this right after the compression and stuff I have on here. I think this will sound dope. All right, so here's on the bass. Let's just drive it a little bit. I don't think we need a a whole lot of wow or flutter. I'm just going to turn those off. This is bass. It's just these to be held steady, right? So we'll push it a little bit and we'll throw some grit in it and then we'll make up the gain on the output. So there it is, like instant vibe on everything you put it on. I'm really happy with this plugin. I thought they did a great job with this. And when they said, hey, you want to check this out? You know, I was like, hell yeah, of course. <laughs> You know, I always want to check out tape machine plugins. Hopefully you guys like this uh, show. I hope you got a lot out of it. And if you do want to pick this up, I'll leave a link in the description so you can grab it. And uh, I think it's very affordable as well. And I'm sure it's not any more than 50 bucks. So tap in, go check it out and let me know what you guys think. All right. Till next time, Radiant Pow, I'm out of here.